Well, a new system of press regulation has come into force tonight after a final bid by newspaper publishers to block it was rejected by the Court of Appeal. In the last hour, the Queen gave her formal approval to a royal charter which has the backing of all parties at Westminster. But will the newspapers agree to join it? Our political editor, Gary Gibbon, is in Westminster now. Gary. Well, as, as you say, the Queen has uh, given approval. So there was a meeting of the Privy Council. Her, Nick Clegg, you can see his car going into Buckingham Palace here. Three other ministers standing as tradition uh, requires. A brief meeting. Nick Clegg was only inside the building for probably about half an hour. There's normally a bit of small talk afterwards. No sherry, no cake. That's it. It's done. What we now have is a system for blessing some kind of uh, self-regulation, san sanctifying it in some way that the government is, is constructing. But what you don't have is the press willing to be blessed by it. They don't want to go near it. They failed in their attempt uh, to stop it in the courts, but uh, they, they insist they're going to go ahead with their own version of self-regulation. There were some carrots and sticks still out there inside the Charter, which makes supporters of the Charter think that eventually the press will come under it. And there were last-minute changes as well to the Charter, which the government and other parties hope will sweeten it, maybe bring the press in. But one of the key changes was that nothing really is necessarily going to happen in terms of enforcement or anything like that until the other side of the general election. Don't expect anything too soon in terms of the press running to be part of this party. Thanks, Gary. Matt.